taste to alter one of milk's natural characteristics. Milk is an emulsion of fat globules suspended in water. If raw milk is left to stand, the fat will rise, forming a layer of cream on the surface. This was the only known method of producing cream until the second half of the 19th century when the cream separator was invented. The homogenizer breaks up the clusters of milk fat globules and reduces the size of the globules. This is done by physically forcing the liquid through small openings under very high pressure. Homogenization produces a permanent emulsion of smaller globules which are evenly distributed throughout the liquid. This is why homogenized milk tastes creamier than unhomogenized milk. The homogenized milk goes to the pasteurizer to be heated to a temperature that will destroy harmful bacteria together with most of the bacteria that causes milk to spoil. This is achieved by heating the raw milk to a minimum of 72 degrees Celsius holding it at that temperature for 15 seconds and cooling it back down to 2 degrees Celsius. This process is known as HTST, which stands for High Temperature Short Time Pasteurization. It's a continuous flow system designed to kill bacteria quickly and minimize the damage to the flavor and food value of the milk. The pasteurizer consists entirely of plate heat exchangers the milk never comes into contact with steam or cooling water. Before pasteurization, milk needed for cream and skim milk goes to the separator, a modified high-speed centrifuge. It can be regulated to produce cream of varying fat concentrations. Cooling is the critical factor in processing milk ready for packaging. After homogenization and pasteurization, the milk is tested again to make sure that the 15 second burst of heat has killed the target group of bacteria and that the product has been cooled down properly to just below 2 degrees Celsius. Having passed all tests, the milk is pumped to the packaging area. After the cartons are filled, they move to the sealing section where they're ink jetted with a use by date. The ink jetting machine also keeps a record that enables the factory's quality control people to trace back any particular batch of milk. Milk of various kinds.